everybody. Welcome back to this random journey. Today we are going to be um, getting this room prepared to uh, demo as well as um, scraping the ceiling and doing whatever else uh, we decide to do. So come along for this journey. This is all the flooring that we have for the remodel and it had been stacked behind the couch and so I'm just going to move this into the boys room. Alright, so moved all that into the boys' room. Poor boys. They ain't got much room in their room right now. Um, so yeah, that's where that's gonna be <laughs> for a while. Out of breath. Alright, now I'm gonna move all this stuff on this wall and I'm gonna put up some plastic. I won't video myself doing that. Um, just tell you. I decided to go ahead and remove the molding around the top of the room so that I could scrape the ceiling a little easier. I'm gonna continue doing that. I heard I like this. So one of the ducks quacked? Yeah. That's so cool. They actually quacked. They're getting real old, but I'm pretty sure it was ducks though. Because he's older. Mm-hmm. So that means he's getting older. That's very cool. Susie. 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 What do you think about all this remodeling? I got it. Hmm? Don't like it. <laughs> I just finished taking all the upper trim off. Um, so I'm just going to show that to you. I uh, got all of the upper trim down, <laughs> down off of the wall. I tried to pull uh, this trim off over here. But I'm not strong enough or I don't know how to apparently. Um, so that can just wait for my husband. So now I'm going to work on scraping the ceiling. This ceiling is scraping differently than the other ceilings have scraped. Um, and I noticed that it's almost as if they patched them. Somebody else is doing construction today too. Um, it's almost as if they've patched the ceiling in here. Um, so let me just turn you around and I'm going to show you what I mean. Alright, I don't know if you can tell or not. But right here... It came off extremely easy and it is very, very smooth. But then if you come over this, this whole area over here is very rough still. Um, and it just won't, basically won't come all the way off. Um, so I don't know, I'm going to have to ask my husband. I'm going to continue to scrape because that's what, I mean, obviously I started already. Um, I'm going to ask my husband what that means as far as, you know, what it's going to look like in product. But... Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to continue scraping these ceilings. I'm not going to video myself doing all that, but because there's a lot of it to do. All of the living room 
And then we're also planning on moving on into the kitchen later. Um, so I'll probably pop you back on uh, as we continue. All right, I took a little break to eat lunch. And while I was eating lunch, I thought about what I was doing. And I decided I needed to empty the living room. And so I will show you the crazy that's happening right now. Um, we've got the table in the hallway all the way so you can, I can get through it, but it's very difficult to get through there. Um, and then the couch is right there, which it actually fits there. And it, I, I joked with the kids and said we might keep it there. Um, we probably won't because it's just kind of an odd place for your couch. Um, but then everything else, <laughs> if you can look in here, everything else is in the kitchen. All of that is in the kitchen. Um, there is a walking path. I can get to the stove. I can get to the sink and to the laundry room. Um, but it's all crammed in there. You can't get into the refrigerator or anything. So I'm going to continue... Um, working here in the living room I'm going to actually try to get that far bottom molding up because there's a tack strip right along this right here and we keep on stepping on it and it's poking the kids and stuff so it's dangerous so I would like to try to get that out of there before I go any further in the living room on the ceiling Ooh, my hair is crazy. Let's just try to. Okay. Well, when you're working. <laughs> okay. I just finished uh, scraping all of the ceiling in the living room. I'm taking a break, uh, drinking some coffee because I need energy. Not that it's going to give me any, but <laughs> I'm going to drink some anyway. Uh, I also did get the trim, almost all the trim in the living room done are off the walls but there's like two spots and it's actually like screwed onto the wall and I can't find the screws um, on one of the boards and the other one I broke off and realized it was screwed in instead of nailed in so I'm gonna let Michael deal with that. Uh, Michael should be home any minute um, and then we're going to probably rip out the carpet in the living room and kind of clean up the living room area and then we will start pulling everything out of the kitchen into the living room area and hopefully get that scraped tonight. Yeah, make sure you don't go in the vent. Yeah, that, you gotta get up in the wall. Uh -huh. oh, spin it. Yeah. 
He's afraid of going in the vent. After pulling up the carpet, we realized there was a bubble in our floor. So I called my dad and he came over and he helped us figure out how to fix and correct that problem. It was kind of stressful because we wasn't sure exactly what to do, but my dad is awesome and he helped us out. All right. So this is the hole to under the house. I'm gonna go in. You got a string? Yeah. Well, probably need to do, probably need to run a string from one end of your living room all the way to the other side and look at the floor. Okay. See what, see what looks like, you know, on a straight string. Mm -hmm. Here, shine that light right up here. I still say we need to just put these back in there for now. Yeah. Because if nothing else, the house will come down. It'll take it, it'll settle itself down, but we don't want to leave it. Yeah, I think. You don't want to leave it with that great big gap. Because you'll have a bouncing floor. You don't want that either. Is that oak tree? No, it's a piece that's of oak, oak buddy. Yeah. Actually, I don't think that's oak. No, no that's oh, not fine. fine. Hard to know what, because they're looking at something that we're not seeing right now. Yeah, see, I come back down on it. Just barely. All right, so out. To finish up this evening, Michael took out the beam that was where the wall used to be. And here is the chicken I was cutting up for our chicken tacos. It is uh, the second day of demo of the um, living room and the kitchen. Uh, it's midday and I'm still in my pajamas. Um, Elizabeth woke up not feeling well. It's kind of dreary outside. You can see it's like raining and nasty out. Um, uh, I've been cleaning, get, trying to get the counters cleaned off. <laughs> Uh, trying to get the kitchen ready to demo. Um, I should have gotten up a lot earlier, but just the rain was lulling me to sleep and I didn't want to get out of bed. So here I am still in my pajamas at almost noon. Yeah. So uh, I need to get myself dressed. I need to finish cleaning the kitchen um, and then I need to um, make sure the kids are settled in. I'm going to put a show on for them and then I'm going to get to hopefully doing the popcorn ceiling in the kitchen. What you see me doing here is I am drying the floor so there's like a ton of water that got all over the tile and it was really slippery so I just decided to do that that way also that I could sweep up as I did the popcorn ceiling and went along and it really was helpful
having the black plastic draped down uh, to where it wouldn't get onto the counter was a really great idea um, because as it hit that black plastic it just kind of rolled down onto the tile floor and it was really easy to just sweep up When Michael got home, he took down the light so that I could uh, get the popcorn ceiling underneath it. And this is him putting the light back up for me. We began to tear up the tile floor and Michael was trying really hard to keep the tile in big pieces. And I asked him why, and he said it was because he didn't want to have to deal with the shards, which after he started going, I completely understood what he meant um, because the little shards were really sharp. And so the bigger chunks were just easier to handle and um, easier to deal with. Poor Elizabeth had been sick all day and she was actually sleeping through Michael doing all this hammering on the tile. We have been working really hard today. We did get the floor down to that. Um, that still has to come up as well, but we figured out that we have to take out the cabinets in order to get the rest of the floor up. 
So now what I'm working on is over here, I am emptying these cabinets and I have to empty all these cabinets. Um, and I'm going to be putting them, um, sorry, I'm like whirling you guys around. I'm going to be putting everything over, hopefully on this shelf. So I got to clear this shelf off everything that we've put on it so far. Um, so I'm going to start doing that and getting that all taken care of. This video is getting kind of long guys, so we're going to go ahead and make a part two. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe so you can get that other video and I'll see you next time.